hey guys welcome back to another weekly vlog guys it is so nasty outside it snowed yesterday and we got a lot of snow in south jersey i don't know about everywhere else but in my area we got a lot of snow i could not get my car out the driveway and babe did not pull out the snow blower so we had to shovel and yeah it was bad and i don't want to go out today because it's still nasty out but i'm actually going to run to bj's to pick up a few things um, i'm thinking about stopping past starbucks and get me a little something something um I have to go to BJ's. I need to pick up envelopes, deodorant for babe. Um, I'm actually, I got to pick up envelopes, deodorant, and a few other things. I need envelopes for my 52-week challenge. I do like envelope stuff. And I don't know if you guys are doing that. I did it last year. I did okay. I did not finish. I did maybe four challenges. I think I finished maybe two. I didn't finish all four of them. But this year, I think I'm only doing three. Um, I'm going to do the $20 a week challenge, a $10 a week challenge, and um, th another one. I'll show you guys once I get downstairs. I have a paper where I save um, like 10000 So it's like you put up, I think my first week I got to put up 125 then like 150 then 250 300 something like that. And then it, it, it repeats itself. But I'm going to show y'all once I go downstairs. I used to do those once. They used to be called holiday clubs or something like that. I used to do them at the bank. And they used to give you like these coupon books. I don't even know if they still do that. I used to do that. It used to be called Commerce. And then when TD Bank came, I think they stopped with the little booklet thing. They used to give you like a little booklet. And you used to rip out the coupons. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. And you would go make your deposit every week. It's sort of like that. But instead of me just putting it in the bank, making a deposit, I just put an envelope and I stash the envelopes away so I don't get into them. And then I just use it to buy gifts for myself or, you know, to go towards my Christmas money. But I think it's fun. It's a um, cool little thing for me to do. So let me know if y'all doing uh, any savings challenges or anything like that or any Christmas clubs um, where you like to stash away money so you can have it at the end of the year. But yeah, so we're going to run to BJ's. I think I have to go to True Value, I think it is. I'm looking for this dye that I want to... I can't remember the name of it. I'll link it right here if I can find it. It's a little dye. You put it in with your whites and it will help your whites get very bright. But you got to get them, get it at like True Value or something like that. So I have to try to find that. And um, I think that's it for today, guys. Yeah, so let's go and... I will see y'all in the car or at BJ's. Okay, so here is the challenge that I'm talking about that I'm going to be starting. So one week is 125, then 150, 175, 300, then it starts all over again. All the way up until you get to 10,000. So I'm going to try my best to do this and I will keep y'all updated. And the other one is pretty simple. You just put up $20 a week in an envelope and then uh, another envelope, you put the $10 in. Or you could put it together. Whatever you desire. Whatever floats your boat. But this is what I'm going to do. All right, don't forget, let me know if y'all doing any savings challenges. All right, let's get out this door before it gets dark. See, this is how it's looking in my neighborhood. It's messy.
camera, son. Oh, secret identity. You're not on the camera. They aren't. They can't see you. You. They can't see you for real. They You're holding up the line, lady moves. My food, my stuff is not ready. <laughs> now tell me again why they don't have a grilled cheese sandwiches. Because the line earlier was wrapped around the store, mm -hmm. and I know you heard her voice on the intercom. She sounds drained. Give her a break. <laughs> Do they run out like evening time, maybe? This is a regular bread and cheese? It's like yeah. bread and cheese? Yes. It's I get the bread, melt the cheese on the bread, and then melt this bread. Yes, There's like no we meat. make it home. But it's a Starbucks bread cheese. This could be that bracket here or something. I know. Just want to get it. I need to bring back the other one. The snickerdoodle? Why do they get rid of it? No, I think they have it by Christmas time, don't they? They didn't have it? I, really start, I got a Starbucks at work. And they'll never have it. I wanted a like grilled crackiness. cheese and a peach, I mean not a peach, a strawberry refresher, that's what I wanted. But, gotta get what they got. to bj's i got like five things that spent like 85 dollars, but i did get ten dollars back for rewards because i have a bj's mastercard and you get like three percent cash back so i always use my cash backs and you get rewards so i like that so very much uh, i just wanted to say that too like um with me doing my little cash envelope stuffing and things like that um, I just started getting into like cash rewards with credit cards and stuff, guys. And it really pays off. Like I use my credit cards more than I use cash and I just pay them off right away. So if I have the cash, I know I have the cash. I'm not going to use my credit card if I don't have the money to pay the bill. So, but I use my credit cards for everyday spending only if the credit card has like cashback rewards. So like with BJ's, I basically use my BJ's for my business but i do get some stuff for home and i get cash back rewards so that was ten dollars off can't beat that i spent 85 dollars wound up having to spend 75 dollars which is cool i like that so i just got recently got the apple card and i use my apple card like every single day like all my everyday purchases like if i run to starbucks or chick-fil-a or just like regular everyday um purchases and then i just transfer my money from my checking account over to my apple card it's as simple as that and then you get points back it's good for when you travel 
you know, because you get different type of like insurance and stuff. Now I was reading Apple is not the best to use for like insurance. So I do have like, um, they say American Express is like good. Discover is good where you can dispute stuff. So like if you travel, if you lose stuff, they help you out a lot. But for local everyday spending, it's better to use a credit card than a debit card because nowadays people are scheming and scamming and if they get your debit card and they wipe out your bank account what are you gonna do if they get your credit card and they wipe you out your credit card is insured yes your bank account is insured too but the process of you getting your cash back you know what i mean there's nothing like that so keep that in mind i just you know just a little financial note you know you know for anybody who needs it but yeah, so I got my envelopes. I got a few things, but I'm about to run a Target because I actually need another container for my Christmas stuff. No, I did not take my Christmas tree down all the way. I'm in the process. But I did take majority of it down. But this year I did add more Christmas balls. So I don't have enough space in my containers. So I bought small ones. I don't know why I did that. I should have just bought like the large containers. So I'm going in here and see if I can find like a bigger container and just a few other things i think i'm gonna get another sheet set maybe not the 600 or 700 thread count maybe i'll just get like i don't know something from target i'm pretty sure they got something decent so when i wash my sheets i don't have to like wash wait for them to dry then make up my bed i want to have you know at least three different sets so i i figure i would do two high-end sets and then i wouldn't say low-end but not so expensive so like the sets i got from bed bath and beyond i think i paid maybe 75 dollars for she said yes that's very expensive but they are so so comfortable and i had a 20 percent off coupon when i did that and i got cash back rewards from using one of my visa cards that i get cash back so i got a deal on them but I want to get like another, I need to get two more sets because you know I went from I had a king size so none of my sheets I could probably still use my blankets from my king size but I cannot use like the fitted sheets that's not going to work so it's basically I'm starting all over so yeah I have to get a couple more my hair is a mess right now y'all but whatever it's a snow day it could be messy it's a snow day so I'm going to run up in here at Target and see what they have. And I will see y'all when I get back to the house. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the house. The Christmas tree is all put away. I did not get a chance to get back on last night after I came from Target and BJ's. I think, I don't know. I don't know what I was on. But anyway, I put myself away from BJ's. I didn't get much but like milk and household couple household items but i wanted to show y'all you know when you go to target you cannot go on target for one or two things you got to come out of there i went there for sheets and i came out of there with so much other stuff but i do want to share what i got because remember i was saying about drinking more water and losing weight so i have not been sticking to that like I'm trying to kick my soda addiction and I have not been able to really stick to it. So I picked this up from Target. I'll show y'all. I picked this up. It is a water jug and it has like times on it. See, it's like times on it, say 7 a.m. all the way up until 9 p.m. So I figured, let me get this. This will be a little bit of motivation for me. And I got one for babe. These are only $5, so it's cute. And I got one for babe. Yes, we're gonna be drinking water. Time zone. And um, then I picked up these trays. Hold on, let me sit y'all down. I picked up these trays for my room. I want to have a tray on my bed. So you know my my theme in my room is like warm tone. Is it warm tones or cool tones? So it's like whites and creams and gold and a little bit of uh, brushed nickel as well. So I found this. I like this, but this is. It's like cream and white. Or it's like tweed, I guess. So I'm not sure. So I picked up this one, which I really like because it has like the gold candles. And I just want to put like a little candle in here and like my candle. 
lighter and clipper and all that. That's what I want to sit on my bed. So I got that one and I picked up this one. All right, so I picked up this one as well. And this is marble. This thing is so heavy. So I'm not sure if I want to use this one for my room or this one. If not, I probably will keep, if I use this one, I probably will keep this one in my kitchen. So I was going to take it back, but I think I'm going to keep this for my kitchen. This will be cute. Or my family room, you put a little candle in here. And, you know, same same thing that I'm going to do upstairs. So I picked those up. And the water jugs. And then, what else did I get? Oh, just the regular daily, uh, daily goods for my bathroom. So I picked up some flossers. I, use, I like using these than just a regular dental floss. So I use flossers. And this is a new mouthwash that I'm trying. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. I used to use Listerine, but I used the Crest 3D um, toothpaste. So I wanted to try the mouthwash. And y'all know my girl's trip is coming up. So I stocked up on traveling you know, travel size good. So I got my Dove, which I love this. If y'all don't try, y'all don't use this. This smells so good. And this, I don't sweat when I use this, but it smells so good. I love this one and I love like the cucumber one. So I stocked up on all my little small travel size things. So here's the toothpaste. I'm not going to take this, but I can put mouthwash in one of these little things. I think it's for mouthwash. But this is the Too Faced that I use on the daily. I love this Too Faced. And then just restock on my hand wipes for my purses. I like this little hand lotion because I don't like my hand lotion real strong. Like I have Bath and Body Work hand lotion, but sometimes it'd be too strong. And I feel like I can taste it if I touch my food and stuff after I use it. So I like using this little cheap lotion. And I picked up two tips. And here are the sheets that I picked up. All right, so here's the sheets that I picked up from Target. Um, these are 400 thread count, supposed to be wrinkle resistant. So bleach um, friendly. So, and then I just got some king size pillowcases because it comes with standard. But I have king size pillows, so I needed pillowcases. So I'm going to wash these and put these on my bed and see how they do. Because my other sheets that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, I love those. So yeah, here's my little travel set. It's a few more things that I just got to pick up. But I like this little thing that you can put your own stuff in here. And then it comes with like labels. So this is cute. No travel kit with the little labels. So that is it for this little Target haul. And like I said, I put my stuff away from BJ's because I can't keep it out all night. 